there comes a time in your life when an ideology rooted from your past begins to grow inside of you, becoming a constant thought. One that preoccupies you, one that you cannot shake off. In my case, it's the word philotimo. In the four years in which I have lived and studied away from home, I came to appreciate the things I used to take for granted. It might have been the Greek sun I missed, or maybe the lifestyle, but whatever it was, I missed it. I began thinking deeply about past memories and feelings, and there it was. It echoed every time, this undefinable word relating itself to love, kindness, respect and compassion. So what could I do other than to go to Greece and search for Philotimo? The first stop in my journey was in Athens. I wanted to see if Philotimo still existed within Greece today, and if so, how and where could it be found? Το φιλότιμο είναι στα πλαίσια της κουλτούρας μας και της παράδοσής μας. Το φιλότιμο έχει πολλές ερμηνείες. Πρώτα πρώτα έχει σαν άνθρωπος να είσαι καλός στον πλησίο σου, στον φίλο σου, στον συγγενή σου και στον άγνωστο άνθρωπο που θα τύχει να συμπληρωθεί. During my time in Athens, I was fortunate enough to witness people from all over Greece come together to celebrate the annual Greek carnival. I'd like to think that their sense of philotimo enables them to participate in these traditional customs which helps keep their heritage alive. Βλέπω ότι τώρα με τις πρόσφυγες που έρχονται φαίνεται ότι το φιλότιμο δεν είχα χαθεί από τον Έλληνα. Βλέπω κόσμο που πηγαίνει τα ίδια τους, τους πρόσφυγες, άνθρωποι που ταλαιπωρούν και υποφέρουν και εμείς κάποτε ήμασταν πρόσφυγες. I was beginning to think every Greek had φιλότιμο, but that soon changed. Εντάξει, είσαστε. Μια χαρά είναι. Απλά γιατί σας είδα λίγο πριν κάπως. Ε, ήρθε για κάποιες δουλειές οι οποίες she had traveled away from home and then abandoned by people she trusted. I started to doubt if I could find Philotimo. Had it been misplaced? This made me even more determined to find out. Φιλότιμο σημαίνει να δίνω. I think Φιλότιμο is still embedded within the DNA of the Greek people, but unfortunately, some seem to have lost their way. I've noticed that Φιλότιμο within people allows them to do more for you than you'd expect, without seeking a reward for their actions. They see it as one of the highest virtues in life, even after Greece's struggle in recent years from the economy and the immigration crisis but I still needed to find Philotimo for myself. Let's get back on the road, or water as a matter of fact. 
as I head to Skopelos, one of the beautiful Sporades Islands in the Aegean Sea. But when I arrived, I found myself stuck for transport. It was then I found Philotimo in action. I could not afford to hire a car to drive around the island. I started talking to Babis, a local on the island. I'd never met him before, but he was the one that showed me what Philotimo really is. He was not rich, but he offered me his motorbike, and this was his only means of transport to work. I didn't film Babis because I didn't want to exploit his philotimo. He saw me as a stranger whom he had to help. After using Babis' motorbike for two days, I offered him the little money I had with me, but he refused to accept it. This is what I came to Greece searching for, and I finally found it. My time at Skopelos was at an end. I was now heading to my hometown, Volos. This is where it all began, with my family and friends. This is where I see my granddad, asking the freedom fighters to enlist him in their army and although they turned him down and made him walk back the 17 miles to his home, I think that this was a great act of Philotimo that guided him all of his life. My time around Greece has shown me Philotimo still exists, but it's being put to the test every day. It's an invisible force that is all around us. It plays a part in the everyday life of a Greek. In a few words, Philotimo means to do more than you are capable of to help others. I see no better way to end my journey with a traditional Greek drink with family and friends in a traditional taverna by the sea. Stini as we say in Greece. <laughs>